Alright guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about all of the brand new Avatar Studios news that has come out in the last week. We got movie news, we got release date news, we got potential news for more news. There's a lot to cover. Let's jump right into things. Now there's all of a sudden a ton of Avatar Studios news. It is everywhere. Not only is there official news, but there's also leaks. So let's jump right into everything. The first is official news from Paramount and Nickelodeon that the brand new Avatar films that are under development have been shuffled around, some, some release dates have been set, some concepts have been done, and we know what the first one is going to be, sort of. Now, they announced that there are going to be three brand new animated Avatar The Last Airbender movies under Avatar Studios that will be coming out in the next few years. The first, they said, is an untitled movie at the moment and is going to be directed by Avatar The Last Airbender veteran Lauren Montgomery. This is going to be the first project of the Avatar Studios era, an animated movie. It's going to hit theaters, it's going to hit the Paramount Plus streaming service, and it's going to be coming soon. In this same announcement, they announced two other movies, but gave no additional details who's directing it, what the concept is, when we could expect to hear more. None of that was included. This was the big official news. We later found out not only did they officially announce these three movies, but they showed reporters the first bit of concept art related to anything Avatar Studios. This was seemingly a tower within a walled structure with the earth element at the bottom of the image and text that said the Avatar returns. Now that hit a lot of red, uh, red flashing lights for a lot of us. This could mean one of two things. We're either getting, at the time this is what we thought, we're either getting the Avatar after Korra, who would be an Earth-bending Avatar, or we're getting an Avatar Kyoshi movie. One of these two things is pretty much what an Earth symbol, the Avatar Returns, a walled fortress could mean for us. And very quickly after all of this official news came out, we got the various leaks. Now, as I've covered before, Avatar News is the person who put out this information. He has been an incredibly reliable source for Avatar Netflix news and for Avatar Studios news. When he reports something, it is very safe to assume it is accurate. He reports that we are getting three, just like the official announcement, animated Avatar films. The first of which is going to be a film about Avatar Kyoshi. The second is going to be a film about Zuko, Fire Lord Zuko presumably, taking place after the events of Avatar The Last Airbender and probably after the comics or maybe an adaptation of the comics. And then the third film is going to be a Legend of Korra movie. These films have release years. They are slated for 2024, 2025, and 2026, respectively. The first is going to be Kyoshi, which falls in line with the preview image that was shown to reporters of the Earth symbol and text saying the Avatar returns. Kyoshi, the headliner of a set of Avatar novels that came out a couple years ago, and a fan favorite badass from the original show and from The Legend of Korra, is going to be the first subject of these movies, according to Avatar News. This is just absolutely huge for the franchise. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Check out the join tab, see if the features interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. Now, what's interesting about this news is that it coincides with a report that Avatar News gave us a couple weeks ago, which is that a Zuko movie and an Avatar The Last Airbender pre prequel movie were in development. Avatar Kyoshi was an avatar before Aang. If you look at the cycle of avatars, if you're going backwards from Aang, it was Aang, Roku, Kyoshi. Kyoshi had two novels released in the last couple years, The Rise of Kyoshi and The Shadow of Kyoshi, which talked about her early life, how she found out she was the avatar, her relationship to her, to her friend Rangi and some to the Flying Opera Company, another group of people that she traveled around the world with early on in her life. These books are canon. These books were written in consultation with Mike and Brian by F.C. Yee, and it seems that we're going to get some sort of continuation of those books in this first movie or some sort of adaptation of those books, and that's going to be the first film Avatar Studios produces. This is the prequel that Avatar News hinted at, since it takes place before the events of Avatar The Last Airbender. 
The Zuko movie we knew about and he doubled down on this in his report. But the other movie that we did not hear about from his original report is the Legend of Korra movie. Now it makes a bit of sense. Some other Avatar content creators have mentioned this point and I think it's a really fair one. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Legend of Korra, and really Avatar Kyoshi are your three pillars of the franchise at the moment. The original show, the sequel show, and the novels are the three most popular pieces of media this franchise has ever produced. So to take characters and stories from all three of these times and make them your first three films makes a ton of sense. It's interesting to me that Avatar Studios is choosing to start with Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi is the only one who hasn't had an animated show of her own yet. Zuko was essentially the second protagonist of the original At Last Airbender show, so it makes sense that we're going to get a movie presumably focusing on him when he's acting on his duties as the Fire Lord sometime after the comics have continued the story of ATLA. It's not going to be a retread of The Last Airbender. Korra obviously is perfectly popular in her own right. The Legend of Korra is a well-beloved, even if a little bit more criticized show from the original creator, so to give her a film also makes just as much sense. To start with Kyoshi, not only I think shows a lot of confidence from Nickelodeon and Paramount in Avatar Studios and of this world, but also shows a lot of confidence that Mike and Brian and the team have in Kiyoshi as serving as that third main Avatar that we get stories from. I think it's an excellent choice. If you have not read the Kiyoshi novels, I cannot recommend them more highly. There are audiobook versions. If you don't prefer to read physical books, but you want to listen to the story, it is very well narrated. The story is wonderful. I would highly recommend both of them. We're getting more novels next month. Avatar Yang Chen's novel, The Dawn of Yang Chen, is coming out in July. So presumably there could be more Yang Chen content coming in the future as well. We got three movies, a Korra movie, a Zuko movie, and a Kyoshi movie coming in the next couple years from Avatar Studios. This all lines up with the potential for more news at San Diego Comic-Con next month, which has been rumored for the last couple of weeks from Avatar Studios. Maybe some official titles and more information on these movies will come then. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think down below. Avatar fans, are you excited about these three movies? Are you optimistic for the future of Avatar Studios? And are you excited about all of the projects that we've been getting in the last couple years since the franchise found its big resurgence in 2020? Let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any more Avatar The Last Airbender news and discussion videos. And with that being said, my name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.